Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and I know I say this a lot, I've got something cute today, but this one I think takes the cake. Do you see this little thing? Oh, this is a baby beaver. Obviously doesn't like being held, so I brought this little bowl so she can crawl around over here. And you know, I keep saying she, but to be honest with you, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. It's really hard to tell on baby beavers. But the cool thing is, is how developed she is. Now, she's only three weeks old today when we're filming this. She's three weeks old, but you're going to notice her, her eyes are open and she's moving around. She's got a lot of activity. That's because they're born very well developed. They're born with their eyes open and they're born to get out there and survive. And the amazing thing is, is that she'll be on mom's milk now here at the zoo. That's a different story. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But in the wild, she would be on mom's milk for only about two weeks and then leave mom well, stay with mom in the house, but leave the milk and start eating her own food, twigs and things like that. So it doesn't take long for them to what we call wean off of mom's milk. That means stop drinking mom's milk. So in the wild, this young lady would already start being on her own and finding her own food. It's amazing how fast they develop out in nature. Now, what they would do, though, is that they are a very close-knit group of animals. They like to spend a lot of family time together. So what they'll do is that this young lady would stay with mom and dad for about two years, and then after about another year, she'd go off on her own and find a boyfriend and things like that. Now here at the zoo, this young lady had a different story. You see what happened with her, she was born, and when she was born, she was dead. The vets did an amazing job of getting her back to life, resuscitating her, getting her back, and she's actually doing well now. Now the bad news is, mom didn't produce enough milk for her to survive. So we had to intervene and we had to feed her milk here so she could survive. The good news is she's gaining weight like you wouldn't believe. She's doing really well. She's starting to nibble on sticks and she's doing really well around people, which is a great thing, meaning we could, might be able to use her for education programs. Now, a couple cool things. I've talked about beavers before. They are rodents. So I'm going to show you that little tail there flapping around. That's, of course, what helps them not only build their lodges, they use that as self-defense. They smack it on the water to let other beavers know there is danger. Not to mention that, webbed feet. Take a look at her feet, very webbed. That allows them to swim very well. And last but not least, she doesn't really have them too big yet. They're there, but little teeth in there. When she's bigger, just like any rodent, she's going to have big, giant orange teeth. That's going to allow them to, of course, chew through all that wood that they love to chew to knock those trees down. But guys, you gotta come see this baby Shiloh. We are hoping she may be available for you to see maybe in a month or so if things go well with our introduction with mom and dad. So until next time, guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with Shiloh the baby beaver, probably the cutest animal we've had yet on the series. See you soon.